Hello students, welcome back and today we are going to learn from 5 chapter 5 about hydrocarbon. So we will finish here about the homologous series. Homologous series as I mentioned it has similar chemical properties. For example all of this is the homologous series. Methane, ethane, propane, butane, bro. Eh? This one I think is spelling error is it? Methane, ethane. Propane, butane, pentane, hexane. Hey, correct, correct, correct. I read wrongly. Okay, so uh, all this is the homologous series for alkane because you when you burn it, though the fire you get will be different, but the the almost the same. You still get back carbon dioxide. And for this one, also a homologous series. When you burn it, you still get the similar properties. Everyone friendly on them build a model such as waste paper and wooden splinter carry out in a group. Build the model for six for the first six members of homo of alkane. So the first six, maybe you can choose this six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you build the model like maybe one black color ping pong ball is the carbon. And then hydrogen maybe two yellow ball. So uh four, four yellow ball because not four, right? C N H2N plus. 2 okay so for this one cn h2n plus 2 will be c2 h6 correct or not 2 times 2 plus 2 will be 6 so um, 2 black color ball and 6 color white ping pong ball and you can build your model for this one i don't know whether your teacher will ask you to do or not present your build model to the class so it's an activity based but um, the reason I'm telling this is not ask you to build but I hope that you can understand that the formula to calculate alkane and alkene and what is the name for example the teacher asks you I want to build a pantane so you must make sure that you got fly back color ping pong ball and 12 color yellow color ping pong ball because it's CNH2N but for pentene, it will be C5H10. So 5 black color ping pong ball and 10 yellow color ping pong ball. Okay. So alternative energy. So why we want to study this? One thing we know that this is not a non-renewable source. Sometimes students will be confused because students will say, hey, um, sunlight is renewable because the sunlight is uh, cannot finish my I mean it will finish after a billion of years the wind is uh, renewable energy the the tidal wave the water is uh, renewable energy how about the the oil because some students will say oil is also renewable energy uh, correct or not because today people also will die People die, go to the graveyard, the dog also die, the chicken also die. After the dog, the cow, the chicken, the human die also will become petrol. Correct or not? I, me and you one day also will become the petrol. According to the theory, la, the hypothesis. Then renewable, la, correct or not? Because one day I die, you die, the dog die, then become petrol. Then unlimited because every day also got um, living things die. So, yeah. Actually, we can see here is yeah okay so it's not new, it's considered non renewable la, okay there's a certain category I forgot it one of the category is fifty years means the energy that you want to reproduce it cannot be more when you want to produce the energy cannot be the duration can be more more than fifty years I forget the the what really. So in order to build the the petrol, you need maybe 100,000 years. So that time is too long. So we don't consider it renewable. But, but we know that it will keep on reproducing. But I know in science lab uh, nowadays, they can make you or any dead living thing in just one minute that can make it to become petrol. They just need to use the right temperature and the right pressure. Just the right pressure, then you will very fast become oil. But you must do it in the lab. Who knows in the future? Because future 
let's say it's the Tesla car want to use electric maybe it's the new trend that is coming but um, not to forget we also have one more technology is the laboratory actually can produce uh, they can produce oil very fast if they want to just go to the lab and I don't know what they do duh, 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 then the oil come ready okay so um, so we have a uh, renewable energy, solar energy, wind energy, hydroelectric, biomass, geothermal energy, tidal wave, and wave energy. I, I'm not going to go into this, but I hope you can remember. If you cannot remember, please um, check out the, the Google. Um, for Malaysia, we are using... Uh, uh, don't be confused. Uh, people thought that Malaysia is using majority of hydroelectric energy, but it is... Not totally true. I think Malaysia use energy more than fifty percent energy is from ah uh, what is this uh, from the gas uh, from the burning of gas. Uh, but it is a name like uh. so most electrical energy that you are me and you are using now is actually not from hydroelectric. It's from the burning of fossil fuel. So of course this is not good. It will pour, um, um, pollute the environment. So I think around 30 or 40 percent of Malaysia electrical energy is by using hydroelectric. Uh, Malaysia also is developing um, nuclear nuclear energy, but I don't know whether you 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 like it or not. But I I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like I like nuclear energy. Okay. So Malaysia the process of build nuclear power station to obtain energy. The advantage and the advantage of building nuclear um, nuclear power station can be taken into consideration before any decision is made. So I don't know whether you agree or don't agree. Um, if I'm a teacher, I will ask you to do a essay whether you want to support uh, nuclear um, nuclear reactor to produce energy or whether not. So let's start with this question. What is hydrocarbon so the answer i believe is up here hydrocarbon compound are organic compound made up of only carbon and hydrogen that's the main property of hydrocarbon now. means got carbon and hydrogen oh suddenly i feel my computer so fast just now it's so lagging state one similarity and one difference between saturated and unsaturated of course, saturated is not healthy. Unsaturated is not healthy. I'm talking about food. La. They are talking about different things. Ah. Saturated got two things. One is referring to food. Another one is referring to the um, alkane and alkene. Hey, sorry, I forget the question. One similarity and one different. Okay, so for the similarity, I don't want to type. La, but I just say it out. La, huh? For the similarity, both has consists of carbon and hydrogen correct or not both consist carbon and hydrogen for the difference saturated hydrocarbon has single covalent bond between the carbon atom for unsaturated fat it has at least double covalent bond or triple covalent bond so that's the difference between saturated hydrocarbon and unsaturated hydrocarbon okay one got only one bond one line and the another one got double bond. Okay, double bond. Two. Okay. If you don't understand, you just memorize. Okay. Um, saturated is single bond. Unsaturated is double bond between carbon atom. Yes, you just remember like that. Okay, then you just get your mark. Um, name one gas which is produced from food waste decay to generate electric. One gas produced from your Food waste, I think this one is methane. Okay, um, a straightforward question why methane? Because it's in the Google, I think. And just let me know if I'm wrong, but I think I'm correct. Methane. Okay, up until here, any question? So the student asked me what is a uh, methane. Methane is a gas that um, you, you produce by using the food waste that you want to compress in the biomass. Let me get the picture for you guys. So basically what they do, for example, in biomass, um, it will produce a gas from, it's in the ground, la, not up here, it's supposed to be down in the ground. 
So after you eat your cow, dung, tai, everything lah, you just put inside. Then it will produce one gas. Then the gas will go out and it will you can burn the gas. After you burn the gas, it will the steam will turn the turbine and it will produce the electric. So this one you can do at many places lah. You can do as long as you got animal and food. You can just throw inside it, and it will produce electric. Alcohol, a bit more. Okay, so we already study mostly about hydrocarbon. We already study hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon is divided to two: saturated and unsaturated, which is actually one is single bond, one is double bond, or one is alkane, one is alkene. So alkene got many things. For example, we start with methane, ethane, propane, butane, benzene, hexane, and for alkene, we start with ah uh, ethene, ah uh, what's there already, ah uh, propene, butene, pentene, and so on. So now we are going to talk about alcohol. Um, alcohol is C C what ah? So then I forgot. C it consists of carbon. Hydrogen and carbon and hydrogen is hydrocarbon, but alcohol plus one more is oxygen. So basically, you just plus one more oxygen, so it become alcohol. So where is my highlighter? So alcohol is a compound consisting of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So alcohol. Um, you can do alcohol by fermentation. For example, you can use glucose starch to make glucose starch in the food to make alcohol. So I don't know whether you know or not how you get the red wine is by doing fermentation from sugar, grape, apple, sugar cane, rice, wheat, potato, anything actually. If you want to use leaf. Leaf is more difficult lah because leaf got um. I never try this and maybe people should try this because it's due to the content of starch that is not a lot because um grape, hun hun do tan lah sugar so you can make more alcohol um rice also got a lot of starch so you can make a lot of alcohol potato barley the thing that got a lot of starch so leaf got lesser starch so. But I think I never do the experiment before. So after this chapter, you should be able to learn how to make alcohol. Then you can drink, you know, very nice, you know, how to make alcohol and and you save a lot of money. Actually, it's not that difficult. You can go YouTube and check. Just I think it's something like you just take a bottle, just buy a bottle, and you need to be very clean, lah. Then you put the rice, for example, me too. Put the rice. I don't know how much quantity. Need experience, ah. Then you put the yeast. Then you put the sugar or what? Then put the drink. Close it, close it, and keep in the classic. No air. Keep it um away from the sunlight. Keep it for maybe two month. After two month, then you open. Very nice. I don't know lah. Never try lah. But I think YouTube will teach you how to make alcohol. Um. Can also earn a lot of money, you know, because one bottle sell like that is ten twenty ringgit for to put in the fish one. Ah, when you eat the fish, they put some alcohol. Ah, alcohol preparation process. Okay, so what we are going to do? We want to use glucose plus yeast. You will get ethanol plus carbonate. Same lah. Whether you want to use rice plus the yeast, grape plus the yeast, sugar plus the yeast, apple plus the yeast, up to you. So you can try it. If you are successful, then you got many variety of taste for alcohol. So um, so of course we are going to do example. We are going to do this one. Um, this one is to test whether it got carbon dioxide. Is it? Is it? Let me read the hypothesis to prepare ethanol. But this one is not to prepare ethanol. Ah, this one is to prepare ethanol. So, lime water test tube. Okay, so um, I'm going to continue this in the next video. So I see you next time. Bye bye.